device used to crack open the giblets. So ours was broken. So we had to like go on this whole head. It was like we were trying to find a store that could sell us that little device that would open the whippets. And I think that guy. Coffee black, two sugars. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> no. No. Huh. Due to the rising cost of care, our health insurance program is no longer covering birth control or the morning after pill. Jesus, who's running this place? It sounds like they're not covering a lot of different drugs. Yeah, including all forms of female contraception. Oh, better not get pregnant. <laughs> hey, Ashley, so uh, wh where are we on the demographic survey? You've had those profiles since this morning. Yeah, I'm sorry, there's a lot of them, and the handwriting's not really that easy to read, especially on males 18 to 35. That's our core market. Who else do you think is gonna use an app that figures out who on their social networks is a candidate for casual sex based on metrics that calculate depression and stress eating? People with dicks. Yeah, well, are they writing with them? Because who can decipher this? You, read those dicks. Read them quickly, please, because the meeting's been moved up to this afternoon. Yo, bro. Hey, man. What's up? So have you installed the app yet on uh, Daniel's phone? Yep, and his tablet. Perfect, you're killing it, man. <laughs> uh, maybe tomorrow we may be having like a little, little, little bitty meeting about us maybe promoting you. Which is why I'm throwing a party tonight. <laughs> I've invited all the sad girls I know. What? <laughs> Okay, pause. This girl calling me is legit a baby. Hi, baby. It's Daddy. Yeah, Daddy at work. Daniel's looking for you. Hey, I'm really sorry. This app is amazing. Thank you so much for putting it on here. It's changed my life. Oh, cool. Sit down. I want to talk. You're the best intern we've ever had. Wow, thank you. I mean, when you did the... with the, uh, for, it's amazing. It's changed my life. You're hired. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I, Ryan and I had a party last night and I, I, I'm so sorry. Hey, no worries. Just invite me next time. Seriously, though, why don't you go home? Take the rest of the day off. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry.
This is what I liked to eat when I had you in my tummy. I feel like this is all my fault. I never gave you the talk. I just didn't think that I had to. Mom, this isn't about you. What, do you know who the father is? The father is a bottle of in cold reserve. I met a girl. We made love. She made love. To me. With a bottle of Sounds a bit gay. It's not gay! I was just enjoying myself responsibly. Hey, Ashley, do you know who the HR person is here? Me, I am. Oh, okay. Um, do you know if they cover outpatient OBGYN treatment? What? I just... What so is that? that? Oh. Uh, What's going on here? I, I need a sick day. A pussy doctor? They're not called pussy doctors. Okay, a cunt doctor. Whatever. So, you designed a day I like the thing. This is the right decision. Okay. I mean, your life is just starting. Still just a baby. Don't cry, Mom. I won't. I won't. I'm gonna be strong for you. Okay. You ready? He told me he didn't want anyone working there who couldn't maintain a work-life balance. And he told me I was too emotional. Oh, no. I'm sorry you went through all this. But I'm also glad. I've just never felt as close to you as I do right now. Same. Don't, don't cry, Mom. <laughs> you know I had to fire someone today. I'm not proud of it. but it does give me a hard on. It's nice meeting a beautiful woman who appreciates 